Hello there, beautiful people. So today I'm going to be showing you how to eat this beautiful breadfruit. And in Hawaii, it's known as the ulu. And this is the Hawaiian variety. This is how it looks. This one had fallen from the tree just today and it was perfectly ripe. So I decided to show y'all how to eat it and what it looks like and what it tastes like. So, I'm just going to be cutting this down the middle. And the breadfruit is very nutritious and it's known as the staple in Hawaiian diets in the past. So, you can use breadfruit at all different stages of ripeness. So when it's not ripe, you can steam it, you can bake it, all types of things. And you can even dehydrate it and turn it into flour. So when it's ripe though, you can just eat it as it is or you can turn it into like a pancake type thing. But this is how it looks on the inside when it's ripe. It's very a gooey texture. I'll show you here. Gooey like this. And it's kind of like durian almost, the texture. And it's very sweet, it's very dense. This is the stem I'm just going to take out. Mm. It has these little hair things on there, kind of furry. You don't want to eat that, it's not good. Um. really good really gooey and sweet okay so today I'm actually going to be eating it with some sriracha because everything tastes good with sriracha I like to just kind of squirt it on here, like that. And then I like to just eat it with a spoon as it is. Just scoop it like this. Mm. That's good. It's really good when you refrigerate it, make it cold. And that's a good way to store it when it's ripe so that it doesn't go bad. Just store it in the fridge. Ah, this is gooey. Hot. Mm. Kind of hard to swallow. Mmm. So how are you guys doing today? I hope you are all well. I'm well. Mm. Today I planted some rosemary and some sweet potatoes. White sweet potatoes and purple sweet potatoes. Mm -hmm. I also harvested some mango. This is so gooey, it's kind of hard to swallow. This is like kind of the stickiest one I've ever had. Oh, maybe it needs to ripen a little bit more. But it's so good. Mm. See, look how this texture is, guys. Just eat it like this. Mm -hmm. You can, a lot of people, when it's unripe, they cut it up into little chunks and they put it into like a potato stew or a potato curry or something. And it tastes just like potatoes. No joke. It tastes just like potatoes.
Well, I think I'm gonna. Mm -mm, mm -mm. It's so good. I can't swallow it. Okay, I'm thinking I'm gonna end the video there. It's gonna be a real short mukbang today because this stuff is hard to chew. And I just wanted to let you know that these videos might be a little bit poor quality because. What I'm doing is I'm just uploading them straight from my phone and seeing how that goes because that helps me to just upload more videos. I'm not going to do any editing, any intro or outro. It's going to be purely me, just me. And I'm just going to upload it and that will help me upload more videos because I can't be bothered by all this editing and stuff. And I don't have a lot of storage on my computer so I'm having issues with that. So I'm just going to upload these straight from my phone. So I'm going to enjoy the rest of this Ulu. And by the way, there's a co-op forming here in Hawaii about from for Ulu. And they're going to be steaming it and packaging it and freezing it. And it's going to be sold at Whole Foods in the near future. So look for it in Whole Foods coming soon. There's a huge demand for it. So I hope you all have a wonderful day. Really, just a lovely, lovely day. Bye.